Hi, this is Toby Bisco. Now I'm just going to show you how to set Exchange Server 2010 to use Encryptor as the default outbound gateway. So it's very simple. Uh, there's only a couple of steps to it really. First of all, just want to open Exchange Management Console. Now expand the tree down to Hub Organization Configuration Hub Transport. And the first tab we're interested in is this Remote Domains tab. Now uh, you'll have a default domain in here. Uh, we just want to double click on that to open the properties, choose the message format tab and then click never use under exchange rich text format. Now this is always a good idea to do anyway regardless of whether you're using Encryptor because there's very few things out there that actually understand the exchange rich text format. Strange that it's a default really. Okay, Click OK to save that and then we'll move over to the send connectors tab. Now this is where we're actually going to set the default route. Uh, we're only interested in your default send connector here. You may have more than one, they may be called something different, but the one we're actually interested in is whichever one has an address space of star against it, so your default route. Now, uh, I've only got one which makes life simple, but uh, I'll open that up and we'll just check the address space just to prove this is the default route. And as you can see there, address space is star. Now, we actually want to set it to send messages via Encryptor. So if we click on the Network tab and we just want to click this Root Mail through the following Smart Hosts option. And we click the Add button and we can add either the fully qualified domain name or the IP address of an Encryptor server. So I'm just going to use an IP address. And we click OK to save that. Now if you have more than one Encryptor server that you want to use for redundancy you can just add multiple IP addresses or fully qualified domain names to this list and it'll just use them in order. Now to save that we click OK and that's it. We're, we're now set up. Exchange Server will now be sending all its messages to our encryptor service. 